Well, the White House has some new residents, and among them are some four-legged friends. One in particular has caught the attention of many being the first shelter dog to live in the White House. And this adorable story is all captured in a new book by author Bailey Cornell, who just so happens to be a former Roadshow intern. And we welcome her back to the Roadshow with open arms right now. Good morning, Bailey. Good morning, Michaela. It's great to see you again. I miss you and the whole gang so much. Yeah, gosh, it's been years since you've worked on our show, but you you certainly made an impact. We remember you, but something I don't quite remember is that you wanting to be a children's author. Was that always the case? Did you enjoy writing? What sparked your interest? Great question. I It definitely was not like my childhood dream um, or, or anything like that. Probably never really mentioned it, but um, I definitely love writing. I love dogs. Um, and I mean, my last name is Cornell, so my jokes tend to be pretty corny. So I love like <laughs> puns play on words so like the rhyming aspect of children's books is really quite cool for me so mm -hmm. the you know back in November when I heard that there was going to be a shelter dog in the White House I was just so moved um and thought this would be such an amazing story for children yes. uh, and that's what started this whole process and it's really been a blast it has a wonderful message as well. I know you mentioned you, know, you like that rhyming nature of a children's book, which it does have. It makes for a great read if you're reading to your kid or if your child is of the age where they can read it themselves. But the message behind it is, is really sweet. Yeah, definitely. I think it's really uh, inspiring to a lot of people, whether it's kids or even adults like me. I mean, I was like so inspired by this message, of course. And mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting how it's almost a tale of the American dream. This yeah. adorable dog named Major, he kind of started from nothing. He met this amazing family and now he's off to the White House to have such amazing adventures with his friend Champ, who's the other uh, dog who's in the White House. And the title is so perfect. It's called Major Underdog. Mm -hmm, um, exactly. It, it really like the message is wonderful. The pictures are great. How did you come to to find your illustrator and, and did, how did you know that that was a good match? Great question. I, I found my illustrator online. I did a lot of research into uh, people who had done children's books before and had the fun, like almost cartoony style that I was looking for. I wanted, yeah. to, wanted it to be very bright and happy and cute. You know, like Major is so cute in real life. I had to have him be really cute in the book as well. And I love the way the illustrator made him, you know, sitting on the desk in the Oval Office. <laughs> Putting his head out of the presidential limo and sitting on a little bench in the Rose Garden. It's just mm -hmm. a lot of really adorable scenes that uh, I'm imagining for what Major is really doing right now. Yeah, really kind of capturing that personality and, and showing the love there. So how can we get it? How, how is it available? I know it's I know it's right next to you right now, right? You probably, talk, probably doesn't leave your side. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm very proud of my book. Um, you can actually get it on majorunderdog.com. Mm -hmm. um, the ebook is available for download, and then the paperback is also on Amazon. So Major Underdog from the shelter to the White House. I love that. Well, Bailey, we're so proud of you and, and all your success, but now this latest accomplishment. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you, Michaela. It was great to see you. And we're going to put all those links up on our website as well. So if folks are interested in reading Major Underdog or ordering it for a loved one, they can do so. Just go to roadshow.com.